If you took all the water on Earth and put it together, it would be a ball 850 Whoa. miles wide. That's a lot of water. Hey buddy, did you know that 71% of the Earth is covered in water? Unbelievable! I had no idea there is so much water. So, it's like Earth is swimming in the pool? Wait, that can't be right. I should call Professor Green. He knows absolutely everything. Hello, hello. My friend Joe called me and said that all of you want to learn about water on Earth. Is that true? Yes. Awesome. Let's start. Any area of land that is covered by water is called a water body. These water bodies differ in size, right from huge ones like oceans and seas to small ones like ponds. A river is a moving stream of water. All rivers have a starting point. The place where it starts is called the source. The source of the river is usually from a hill or a mountain where melted snow and rainwater are collected. The end of the river is called a mouth. The mouth of the river will take the water from the river into the sea, oceans or lakes. Water in rivers is fresh, which means it's suitable for drinking. The longest river in the world is the Nile River. It runs through 11 African countries. Wow! A lake is a body of water that is surrounded by land. Water in a lake is still and it doesn't move. <laughs> there are 117 million lakes in the world. Amazing! Most of the lakes contain fresh water, but some of them are salty, like the Dead Sea. It's called dead because it's very salty, and no living creature can survive there. And did you know you can't drown in the Dead Sea because the water is so salty. You can float in it on your back. It's like lying on a sofa. Sounds fun. A pond is a body of water, smaller than a lake. Some ponds are formed naturally and filled by an underwater spring, melting snow or rainwater, while other ponds are made by people. Ponds are often a place where people can relax. In warmer times of the year, a pond can be a place where people have picnic or enjoy outdoor activities. Ponds can freeze in the winter and be used for winter sports, such as ice skating. An ocean is a large area of salt water between continents. There are five oceans. The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. Together, the oceans are like one ocean, because all the oceans are connected to each other. Did you know the oceans contain 97% of the Earth's water? That's a lot of water! Hmm, why do we have water problems? Well, it's because the ocean's water is salty and not safe to drink. A sea is a smaller part of an ocean, which is closer to land. For example, the Mediterranean Sea is part of the Atlantic Ocean. There are 57 seas on Earth. Most people travel to sea coasts for vacation. Well, not all the seas are suitable for a beach holiday. The seas of the Arctic Ocean are the coldest ones. Their temperatures are almost minus 2 degrees. <laughs> well, these are major water bodies of our planet. Let's name them one more time. Rivers, lakes, ponds, 
Oceans. Seas. Amazing. Joe, I hope this helps you understand water on Earth. Thank you, Professor Green. And not only to me, but to our young friends. Our world is amazing. I can't wait to learn more about it. Will you join me next time? Yes! Yay! I'm so happy. See you next time then. Bye-bye.